as you all know I like uh, any kind of drum project and I have extra parts and extra shells from different projects I've done in the past um, I bought this 16 inch Rogers floor tom um, power tone model um, I think it's a 68 shell but uh, and then I have two Ludwig blue olive from the 70s uh, tom rack toms uh, 12 inch and 13 inch and I was gonna do this as a mix match vintage set but then uh, my buddy Jeff Holden gave me the holiday shells the Roger holidays which thanks again man so I just ended up scrapping this project at the time but now I've kind of wanted to start again but uh if you remember I bought a sawtooth kit that had tube lugs to use on that Rogers kit so I have these shells and really no use for them until I thought well maybe I could use these wraps on the other shells because I do kind of have a vintage look and so I'm gonna try to do that and I have the 22 inch Ludwig Rocker USA um, kick drum and uh, so this is gonna be a project that will take some time but I'm looking forward to it what I'm not looking forward to is I got quite a bit of this wrap off already but um, this Roger shell had a damaged wrap and it's probably been on there since it's I've, I figure it's original so it's been on there since uh, 1968 so it's glued all the way around and just using a uh, scraper I was able to get little pieces at a time and they just break off and it took forever so what I did was I have a heat gun and I heat up an area and then I'm able to take it off that way a lot quicker and I'll demonstrate that here in a second. I'm going to show you what it's like to try to get this off without using the heat gun. cracks and breaks and can't get off very much at one time but uh, take the heat gun I crank it to about the max we start to see the wrap kind of bubble up a little bit where it's getting hot and the glue's loosening up too. That should be good enough. Let's try it. And much easier. 